Some new reporting on breaking news. Nine people had to be checked out by medics after smoke forced an evacuation at D.C.'s Eastern Market Metro Station today. So you can see right there, it sent many people running out of that station in Southeast. Now, those still on board trains were also afraid and wondering what was going on. Oh, no. I got to get off this, though. No, no, no. Yeah, it's talking about getting off of that train. Right. People describe those bright flashes and loud pops as explosions. Metro officials say it happened after an insulator caught fire under one of those trains. As our Alexis Wainwright reports from the scene tonight, fire officials work quickly to cut the power and evacuate the station. The Eastern Market train station here behind me opened about two and a half hours ago. We know that nine people were treated for injuries, one taken to a local hospital. The assistant fire chief tells WUSA 9 that thankfully everyone is expected to be OK. But as you could imagine, a lot of people shaken up by what happened here today. Smoke started happening. Um, you could see the fire and the smoke coming up. You know, I hit the release thing on the door. And me and the other passengers on my cot um, ran out of the uh, train station. People inside the train and on the platform at Metro's Eastern Market Station caught in utter chaos. See, smoking was looked like boom, like it was an explosion. Witnesses described bright flashes and hearing those loud pops. People described them as explosions. We left Stadium Armory Station. As soon as we got into the tunnel, maybe 10 seconds after, you could hear the first pop. And then, you know, the train kept going uh, for maybe another few seconds and then it popped again. So, you know, that's when it really scared me. D.C.'s assistant fire chief and chief Metro infrastructure officer tells WUSA 9 it appears an insulator arced in a track bed and created the smoke. Crews cut power to the insulator and evacuated the train and station. Very initial aspects of the investigation lead us to believe uh, that this is a potential um, problem with the train it has nothing to do with you know the wheels or, or anything like that. It was a 7000 series train. Nine people were treated and one was transported to a local hospital. Thankfully, everyone is expected to be OK. Oh, what was going through my mind is like I wanted to try to make it out alive. Absolutely alive, but it was great because it's, it's good because everybody made it out alive. We also know that Capitol South and Potomac Avenue train stations have also reopened again. We can tell you that the Metro Chief Infrastructure Officer tells us they're going to have to inspect the tracks and also the 7000 series trains, but obviously just the beginning stages of this investigation. Of course, we'll stay tuned and update you as we learn more. But for now in D.C., Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.